Hello friends. Today's video is part of the fifth Sunday Craft with Friends. This is something that I just started on my channel. Every fifth Sunday, I'm inviting a friend or two or three to craft with me the same supplies, but make it our own. It's not a competition to see who does it better. Just see how differently we create with the same supplies. How fun. So today, I asked my crafty friends from the Crafty Cruise Getaway to use some of the supplies that we either acquired on the ship or that we uh, just came up with to create in this video. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later and an amazing giveaway that Trish came up with. But for now, let's get started crafting. First, I want to share with you a few gifts I received on the cruise. This was a little tag that Trish made. You can buy these on her website. I think it's an Etsy store. And this beautiful little cross came from Rachel. And it's just precious. She made all four of us one of these. And it's got, you know, a little song on that little bookmark tag. And then from Jenny and her sister Diana got us those beautiful scissors. How they got those on the ship is still a mystery. Now these are some napkins that we uh, that I brought home from the napkin exchange. We all took some napkins and brought some napkins home. Those may look familiar from a previous video that I did, but these are the ones that were part of our challenge today or our um, craft with friends today. These beautiful napkins were brought on the cruise by Heidi. Heidi brought these and she gave each one of us a set of the four. And so we decided we would use these. We had to use one of these in our video today. So I chose this beautiful mint green one with the pretty pink flowers. Now I had this little box, this little wooden box that came, I don't know, something came in it, who knows. And I'm gonna use apothecary and mint chip and mix them together to make this custom color that I think looks really pretty with the napkin. Now I'm going to coat this entire box, the lid and the bottom, with this custom color. And I used a paintbrush, I used a sponge brush, I used a little bit of everything. I'm going to use my tight bond, quick and thick, and a little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to put these little half beads on the bottom because I want to raise this little box just a little bit. Put some little small feet on it. So I'm going to put five of them on. I'm going to put one on each corner and one in the middle just to give it a little bit, bit extra stability because in case you haven't noticed, I'm a little bit extra. So I guess I'm going to show you how to do all five of them just in case you don't know. We'll just speed it up a little bit. A little bit of um, hot glue for a fast hold and the tight bond will be our secure hold. Now I'm going to take White Swan by DIY and I'm going to paint this little knob. It's just a little uh, like a drawer pull knob. And then this I had left over from um, some molds that I had poured when I had some extra resin. And I'm just going to paint it and then I'm going to take some crinoline and I'm going to dry brush. The, this little um, tag and my knob just a little bit around the edges and then across the top and a little bit on the knob I don't really want it to look um, like I painted it with crinoline I just want it to have a little bit of an aged look <clears throat> excuse me then I'm going to take this a little piece of paper and I'm just going to press in where the inside of that opening is and then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace it just a little bit so I can practice because I'm going to write the word cherish so I practiced it several times I'm just showing you um, the one that I that I did so now I'm crossing my fingers that when I write it in here it all fits and looks like it's supposed to I'm going to apologize for my voice I've had a little bit of a not really a sore throat, but I've had something going on with my throat. So I'm just going to apologize for my voice right now. And you can see that I'm just taking a brown marker. 
I practiced with a few different thicknesses and different types of markers, and this is the one that I chose. And I just went over that pencil and, and did the chairs. Now, when it was completely dry, I used some clear wax, and I waxed, I waxed the knob and this little piece, and then I took some dark wax and went over it with some dark wax just to give it a little bit extra distressing and aging look. If you don't like the distressed look, by all means, leave that part off. Now I'm going to take the crinoline and I'm also going to just dry brush a little bit around the edges and across the top of this little box around the bottom, just all around it, just a little bit of this dry brush. Now I have my rice paper, you know I love my rice paper, and I cut it to fit the inside of that box. And I'm going to take um, Sincerest Regards by IOD, it's a stamp, and it's one of my favorites, you see me use it a lot, and I'm just going to stamp it on this piece of rice paper. It, this works so pretty, this rice paper works so well with the stamps, and it is in my Amazon store if you're interested in purchasing some. It works in the printer really nice. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Now this mat that I work on, it just that ink just wipes right off. Now I'm going to take a little bit of dark wax and I'm just going to take this makeup brush and just distress this a little bit. We want it to look a little bit old and worn. Now some Mod Podge on the inside of this little box is going to work really nice to put that rice paper down. I like the iron-on method, so I'm going to let it, put it aside and let it dry completely. Now, I'm going to use the scalloped edge of this beautiful napkin because I want to showcase that beautiful scallop. So I'm going to press my finger down so that I can see where I need to cut. Well, I'm actually just going to hold it on there and cut, but that little um, pressing it down is going to help me when I get ready to place it later. Except that I'm going to iron it now because, you know, it gets those little divots in it. And um, I like to press those out. Now, I've took all the plies off, separated all the plies out where I only have one ply. And now I'm going to mark on my little box exactly where I want this to lay because I only want the Mod Podge on the part where I want it. Now, it really would not have hurt anything if I would have put Mod Podge all over this box. I don't really know what I was thinking. But I just wanted to put it where the napkin was going to be. Okay, then I'm going to set that aside and let that dry while I work on this part. Okay, so I'm going to just put that little piece of rice paper in there, use my little heat press, um, and press that down. It works great. We'll do the same method for this. Get my, I guess I didn't iron out those little parts because it's, not sure what I was doing there. Okay, we're going to iron this down and wait till you see it. It is so beautiful. The iron on method just makes it stick. You can see that I got, maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. It, was, it went off really fast. The Mod Podge was a little bit um, outside, but then I just went back with a little bit of paint. You can see it right there up at the top of that napkin. Um, I just went back with some paint and touched it up. I didn't get that on camera. Okay, so you saw me. I just took my emery board and filed off the excess. I'm taking some clear wax by DIY because I do not want to um, add any more Mod Podge to the top of this napkin because it will cause wrinkling. And that's the whole purpose of using the iron on method. But this wax will seal it nice. And then I'm going to wax the bottom of it. Sometimes I use the brush. Sometimes I use a nap. Uh, uh, I don't use a napkin. I use a piece of an old t-shirt because there's no lint and it doesn't fall apart and it just works nicely and it's nice and soft. And then I rub it in and buff it off and then, well, I'll use the brush a little bit here and there and then I'll use the, I'll use my little t-shirt and I just kind of go back and forth. 
I do love to buff it out with the t-shirt though because it's such a nice little smooth soft finish and then I'm gonna do the inside as well and then I'm gonna use a little bit of dark wax just around the edges and just give it a little bit of an aged I still want it to look light and airy but um, I do like to have that just that little bit of aged look to it because I want this to look like something that you know you would keep your love letters in I'm gonna use a little tight bond and a little bit of hot glue and place this right in the center of my lid press it down let it dry then I'm going to do the same thing for my little cherish I'm using a lot of glue because when I poured this it was probably leftover resin and the back was a little concave it wasn't really flat on the back so I'm using a lot of glue I think this turned out so cute gave it a thumbs up double thumbs up okay but we're not done yet this beautiful crocheted lace ribbon that I love get it at Dollar Tree I'm just gonna tie it around there I don't even tighten a knot I just tie it like so and then these little antique keys I've been using forever I'm gonna pick out all the ones that, that are the size that I want and then try to decide which one I want to use I really like that one a lot uh, I'm thinking that might be the one I end up going with yep still trying to decide which one I like Nope, oh, I think that's the one I ended up going with let's see back and forth back and forth I'm so indecisive and then I'm going to just put a little dab, a dab of glue under there a little dab a little dab so that those pieces will stay like I want them to oh I took a piece of um, embroidery thread and tied that little key on there then I'm just gonna cut those at a little slant and this is all finished let me know what you think about this in the comments below going to be a giveaway so I'm gonna let Trish tell you about the giveaway that she came up with so listen close hey crafty friends get ready for a chance to win we're giving away two craft kits packed with crafty goodies for each winner we will have a napkin and tissue collection perfect for decoupage a spindle kit including a chippy brush and a personalized wood round tag cut to order to enter, simply watch all three videos on this playlist and comment on your favorite project in each one. It's that easy. Winners will be announced Sunday, April 7th on our community tabs and in the comment section of each video. So show some love and don't miss out on this opportunity to win. Okay, the next DIY, we were to use a wood round and some burlap. So this was my choice of burlap. I got it Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some Waverly Wax in the color Antique, and I'm going to just brush on some. I'm going to take a baby wipe, and I'm going to just smear it around with this baby wipe so that it looks stained. This is a great technique to do. It's not new. Everybody's done it, but I just love it. Now, I'm using this doubled over, and I'm just going to trim it down. You can just pretty much watch and see what I do. But I decide that these scissors do not really cut that burlap very good. And I'm pretty sure I switched scissors. Okay, now you can see that it's doubled. That I have it doubled. Okay. So I, I traced around it. I don't know if I got that on camera. I traced around it. And then I used the scissors to cut that little piece. And then I'm going to hot glue all around the edge. But I'm, I make, I cut it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to be very careful that I make sure that I, when I glue it down, I make an allowance for that because I'm going to make a little pocket 
I don't want it to be straight across. So I'm making sure, see that I kind of leave it where it's got that little pocket. Might be a little bit gathered at the bottom. Then I'm just gonna take it, flip it over, use my scissors to cut off the excess. And it's got a little hot glue there, so it's kind of sticking to my scissors, but hey, we get through it, right? I'm gonna use my handy dandy little tabletop vacuum to suck up all those little crumbs. And next, we're gonna get out the florals and the greenery. Now, for $4.49, I got this huge bag of succulents and greenery at thrift store. But I decided I'm gonna use these little um, wildflowers, these little yellow wildflowers. I think they're just precious. I've been using this bunch for a long time. I think I either got it at, pretty sure I got it at Walmart a couple years ago. And I've just been using it in several DIYs and it just has really lasted me a while for that big bunch. And then this little bouquet was in that bag that I just showed you that I got at the um, thrift store. So I'm just picking and poking until I like the way it looks. Now I've got this ribbon that I got from Sam's Club and I'm just taking off some, and I'm sorry I'm out of frame here um, on some of this making the bow, but this I'm just kind of making a simple bow. I'm just taking a couple of um, pieces of ribbon and making a loop, big loop and pinching it in the middle and then I'm gonna take some longer pieces for the tail and cut them the same length and then I'm going to find the middle I'm going to pinch it together I'm going to um, secure it in the middle with some twine and then dovetail the ends there I'm finding the center I'm just going to pinch it together put that twine around it and then I'm going to fluff the bow out pull all the little loops of the bow out and just twist them and fluff it until it looks like I want it to and there I like the way that looks so I'm gonna use some hot glue glue that part that's the tails and then I'm gonna glue the bow right in the center of that and then I do take my glue gun I'm yeah I did get it on camera and I'm just gonna glue the tails down as well so it's not so floppy Then, what I should have done in the beginning, but I waited until I had it all embellished to put a little hanger on the back. Just a little sawtooth hanger. I'm going to hot glue it. I'm going to put a couple little pieces of um, canvas drop cloth to secure it. And this beautiful DIY is done. Let me know what you think about this one. Okay, one of the crafts that we did on the cruise was this little spindle and wreath. And so I had these little embellishments as an option to go on the wreath instead of that little plaque. Um, but I had taken the little plaques and the little Hello Spring um, decals. But I'm just going to go ahead and use that little Hello Spring decal. I'm going to cheat a little bit. And we also had that little black and white checkered ribbon that you saw. And that I fixed those um, spindles that already had the dowels in the end. So then I'm going to take Farm Fresh by DIY. And I'm going to paint all three of these pieces with it. And then I had gotten this little embellishment and this little half bead. And I'm going to make a little flower like so with it. So I'm going to paint. I painted the petals, the little flower with beadboard. And I'm going to paint the center with liquid sunshine. Then I'm just going to glue that little center to the flower with a little bit of hot glue. Just like you see me doing here. Now, wood embellishments. Okay, this is my pitiful little box that has all my wood embellishments in it. And 
you can see it's an organized mess. Now this is how they are before they're open, but everything's in Ziploc bags and I mean, it's an organized mess. I used to have the little, um, once I opened those little wood, these with them in there, I would have them in Ziploc bags. But what I did instead now is my mom gave me this little, it was like an, in my dad's tackle box and she gave it to me. And guess what? Those little embellishments work perfect in here. So let me know in the comments, like, how do you organize your little embellishments? Okay, so this is all painted. Now we're going to use some tight bond, quick and thick, and that's all we're going to need because those little dowels are going to give us the extra support that we need. We're just going to press that down really nice and tight. We're going to wipe off that excess glue with a little Q-tip, and then I did go back in and touch up paint that where it got... Um, it got a little, there I go, touching it up where the glue was a little bit different color. Then I'm going to take Clear Wax by DIY, and I'm going to Clear Wax this entire piece. Now this was a, amazing how differently everyone on the cruise made their spindle project look different. And so I decided when we had a few extras left over that I gave each one of the girls a kit and said, hey, would you guys like to join me on the fifth Sunday Craft with Friends and we can all do one of these spindles? And they said, sure. And I said, thank you. Okay, so then I'm going to do some white wax and just like you see me doing there and then I'm going to wipe it back. And then I'm going to take my little, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put my little eye hook because we're gonna hang that little wreath. So I decide I'm gonna put it right there. I'm just gonna twist and twist and twist. This wood is really soft, so it didn't take much to twist it. Now, over to my little wreath. I'm gonna use that some of that ribbon, a little piece of burlap ribbon, and just make a very, very simple um, bow with just some ribbon. I didn't even make loops. It's not a loopy ribbon. It's just a little tuxedo type. And then I took a little butterfly and did it um, with liquid sunshine. And I forgot to tell you that I took some white wax and um, sealed up that little flower. Then I decided that little flower looked cute in that bow. Then I'm white waxing the pretty little butterfly. Going to attach it to the Hello Spring sign and the wreath is finished. Now let's put it on our little holder, our little hanger, and look how adorable it looks. And last but not least, I'm going to do my tag with Hey Sailor and Vintage Linen. This is just a little bonus that I decided I was going to do. So I'm going to paint the round part with Hey Sailor. I'm going to put this in my bedroom because my bedroom is done in uh, dark blue, navy blue. And I want this in there. You're going to see when I style it up. I'm going to take a sponge brush and I'm going to lightly just go over the top of this with some vintage linen. These are very fragile and I did end up breaking a piece off, actually two pieces off, but you'll see that it doesn't matter because you can just glue it back on really easily. Now I'm going to put these beads onto this little skewer. Well, I ended up getting a different bead because that one wouldn't fit on there, but it's okay. I put three beads on there and then I used the beadboard and I painted all three of them with and I just dabbed it on there painted all three of them with beadboard and then I have this little styrofoam block that came in um, something that I ordered as packing and so you're gonna see me stick that in there I used to do this all the time stick it in there for them to dry 
So in the meantime, I'm going to use some Big Top Sealer by DIY. And I'm going to seal that, the background, the round part. Then I'm going to use this little soft, soft makeup brush. And I'm going to very gently seal my name. You can see that little piece over there that broke off. But no worries. I'm going to also use the big top to seal my beads. I'm going to attach um, my pieces together with the Type Bond Quick and Thick. I poured some in that little uh, silicone muffin cup over to the right, that little yellow one, and I'm going to apply a, a pretty generous coat with that paintbrush, um, just on on the bigger the biggest edges. Okay, and when I was applying it, I knocked another little piece off, but. Um, it wouldn't lay flat on this piece for me. I don't know if when I, I used the heat gun, it warped it, the background piece, or what. So I ended up just using some clamps and clamping it down. And this worked perfectly because the quick bond dries quick. Now, I wasn't, wasn't recording when I did the beads, but that's pretty easy to know. You just string the beads on there. And look how pretty this is in my bedroom with my books that have our name on them. It also looks really pretty styled on my birdcage. That's all for this week's video, friends. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to comment on everyone's video. Don't forget to like so that you can be entered into the chance to win this awesome giveaway. There's going to be two people's names drawn. So the more times that you comment, the more chances you have to win. But most of all, I want you to remember to be still and know that He is God. <laughs>